Welcome, in this video I'm gonna teach you about one of the official wallets, the Signum XD wallet. We are going to teach you about the basic features of this wallet. This wallet has so many features that you may be surprised. So, do not worry, we will be showing the features one by one. So, let's begin. What is the Signum XT wallet? It is a cryptocurrency wallet for the Signum blockchain as a web extension for your browser. It is a non-custodial wallet, you have full control over your funds. The wallet is open source, users can freely inspect the source code as well as suggest improvements. Multi-language support. You can create, import and manage multiple accounts. As you can see it is not only a non-custodial wallet, it is one of the first wallets for the Signum ecosystem that introduces support for decentralized apps. For example, we can easily connect to many dApps like Signum Swap, Signum Art, Signa Rank, Fomplo, and many more you may find on the ecosystem. If you want to learn more about the ecosystem, you will find a link on the description down below. So let's download the wallet. You can go to the official Signum website and find the wallet section. There is a link on the description below. You will see the available browsers. Notice that you can download the extension on any browser of your preference. In this case, I am using Google Chrome. We proceed to download the extension. Once the extension is installed, you have the option to create or import an account. In this case, we are going to import an existing account. As we are going to import an existing Signum account quickly, before you continue watching this video, it's totally recommended to watch the video tutorial. How to create and set up a Signum account. Be sure to write your 12-word recovery phrase on a piece of paper and choose a password. With the recovery phrase, you can access your account even if you lose access to your computer or forget your PIN. If you lose the seed phrase, you will lose your funds forever. Once you have set up the password, read and agree to the terms of usage and privacy policy, you can continue by clicking the button Import. The extension wallet will give us an onboarding. If you want to see through it, go ahead. But in this case, I will be skipping this onboarding. Your account created through the XT wallet will also be compatible with the other official wallets. So, we are now on the initial dashboard of our account. You can learn and poke around as much as you like. If you are pretty curious, click on the warning button and let us know which tips you will see. You will see the balance of the account and down below you will find the following tabs. On the Activity tab, you can see the account's historical activities on the Signum blockchain. On the Messages tab, you can see any peer-to-peer -peer messages the account has received. You can see the encrypted or the non-encrypted ones. On the Tokens tab, you can see easily watch the balance or transfer your smart tokens. Now we are going to meet the awesome features of the wallet. If you click on the button Receive, you can see the address of your new Signum account. This is the address you need to receive funds. If you want to send Signa, you can just click the button Send. A new form will appear asking you the following. The recipient is the account which is going to receive the Signa. The amount of Signa you want to send, for example, I want to send 10 Signa. Optionally, you can add a memo or message. This is very common for sending funds to exchanges or other stuff. If you want to add a memo, you can just activate the text message option. 
Then on the next field, you can enter the memo. This is a memo which can be used for sending funds to an exchange or other stuff. Keep in mind that including a memo is completely voluntary. The decision to add one is entirely yours. Set the fee of your preference. Once you complete the form, you can confirm the transaction by clicking the button, Send. You will receive successful feedback. If you want to send any token, you can just click the Tokens tab, pick the token of your choice, and then click on the button Send. A new form will appear asking you the following. The recipient is the account which is going to receive the token. The amount of token you want to send, for example, I want to send 10 TRT. Optionally, you can add a memo or message. This is very common for sending funds to exchanges or other stuff. Set the fee of your preference. Once you complete the form, you can confirm the transaction by clicking the button Send. You will receive successful feedback. If you want to send a message, you can just click the button Send, and then click the button Peer-to-Peer -peer Message. A new form will appear asking you the following. The recipient is the account which is going to receive the message. Then on the next field, enter the content of the message. On the next option, you decide if you want to encrypt the message or not. If you have this option disabled, the content will not be encrypted and it can be easily readable on the Explorer. If you have this option enabled, the content will be end-to-end -end encrypted and is only readable by you and the recipient. Important reminder, smart contracts do not understand encrypted messages. On the next T option, you can just ignore it. This option is meant for programmers who interact with smart contract, just leave it disabled. Set the fee of your preference. Once you complete the form, you can confirm the transaction by clicking the button Send. You will receive successful feedback. If you want to connect to a decentralized app, first make sure that the app has support with the XT wallet. If you want to find a list of dApps which has support for the XT wallet, you can just look it up on the ecosystem page or ask the community, you will be pretty welcome. As this is a beginner's guide, we will use Signum Art, which is a NFT marketplace. Just click the button, connect wallet. A new dialogue will appear asking if you want to confirm the connection. If you want to continue with the connection, just click the button, connect. If you want to reject the connection, click the cancel button. Another example is Signum Swap. Just click the button, connect wallet. The dialogue will appear asking if you want to confirm the connection. If you want to continue with the connection, just click the button, connect. If you want to reject the connection, click the Cancel button. Another example is Fomplo. Just click the button, Connect Wallet. The dialog will appear asking if you want to confirm the connection. If you want to continue with the connection, just click the button, Connect. If you want to reject the connection, click the Cancel button. If you want to sign a transaction on a specific decentralized app, it all depends on your available balance, what you want to do, and how easy it is to sign transactions on a specific dApp. So, in order to keep things simple, we will take as an example Signum Art, because we will buy an NFT. We will pick any NFT, I just want to buy an NFT quickly, so I will buy this NFT because it looks nice to me. Once you found the NFT of your preference and have enough available balance to buy it, you can just click the button, buy it now. The dialogue will appear asking if you want to confirm the transaction. If you want to sign the transaction, just click the button, confirm. If you want to reject the transaction, 
click the cancel button. As a second example, we will take Signum Swap. We are going to transfer two tokens and Signa simultaneously. Yes, the Signum blockchain has support for sending up to four tokens in just one transfer. You can set any receiver as you like. We are going to send two tokens and some Signa. Once you have everything set up, just click the button Send. On the dialog, you will be able to preview the amounts of assets to send. If you want to sign the transaction, just click the button Confirm. If you want to import more accounts, you can just click on the avatar located at the top. You will have the option of creating a new account or importing an existing one. It's up to you to decide what to do. If you want to import an account, you are able to import it as the following modes. Active mode, import an account completely. You can then execute transactions and dApps can also request transactions to be executed. Required, Signum recovery phrase. Watch mode, if you only use an account address, it will not be possible to carry out transactions. You can only observe the imported account. Required, account address or account ID. Nostr. If you have a Nostr account but no Signum account, you can use your private Nostr key to create a matching Signum account for your existing Nostr account. You can also use the private Nostr key in other Signum wallets. Another big feature of the XD wallet is the support of Nostr accounts. If you want to learn more about the integration of Nostr on this wallet, we recommend you to watch the following video tutorial. We won't show you what's on the settings, we will let you have the curiosity of poking around and finding out what you can do there. That's all, we finally finished this video tutorial. You discovered the main benefits of the XD wallet. Now it's up to you to explore the Signum ecosystem. Please let us know in the comments below any suggestions you have. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. You can join the community and hang with us on Discord, Telegram, or Reddit. I hope I'll see you next time.